Less than 24 hours ago, an open letter was published by AI leaders around the world calling for an immediate pause of the training of AI systems that are more powerful than GPT-4 for the next six months. This letter, signed by names such as Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, and many other leaders of AI research labs and companies, lays out the reasoning for wanting to pause AI research, and it's both fascinating and frightening. One of the names missing from the list, Sam Altman. Today, we'll go over the most interesting points of the letter, we'll look at the names of the people who signed it, and discuss how this might affect OpenAI, the clear leader in the AI race. Let's get into it. Here's the letter, published to futureoflife.org, a very fitting name for this subject. And the letter is called Pause Giant AI Experiments, an open letter. Let's take a look. We call on AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. Now, immediately, you can see that this letter is targeting OpenAI. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but GPT-4 is their product. So right now, at the time of recording this video, there are 1,172 names, and we'll take a look at those names in a minute. Now, I think the first paragraph is especially important. So I'm going to read it word for word and I'll try to go quickly through it, but it's critical to understand what they're talking about. AI systems with human competitive intelligence can pose profound risks to society and humanity, as shown by extensive research and acknowledged by top AI labs. As stated in the widely endorsed Asilomar AI principles, Advanced AI can represent a profound change in the history of life on Earth and should be planned for and managed with commensurate care and resources. Wow, this line really packs a punch. Unfortunately, this level of planning and management is not happening. Even though recent months have seen AI labs locked in an out of control race to develop and deploy ever more powerful digital minds that no one, not even their creators, can understand, predict, or reliably control. So they're basically saying, once the cat is out of the bag, there's no putting it back. Once the spark of AGI gets lit, that's it, it's out, and there's no putting it back. So it goes on to say, contemporary AI systems are now becoming human competitive at general tasks. So this is the first point they're making in the letter, that OpenAI is now smart enough to compete with many knowledge worker jobs. And we must ask ourselves, should we let machines flood our information channels with propaganda or untruth? Now, this is something that a lot of AI leaders, including Sam Altman, have talked about. That is their most imminent fear about AI, is the ability to produce disinformation, misinformation at huge scale that is extremely hard to detect. One thing that just happened is, this is a silly example, but still important to point out, there was a picture created with Mid Journey, I believe, of the Pope wearing a puffer jacket. And, you know, it looked really cool, but it looked very, very real. And it spread like wildfire throughout the internet because people thought it was real. And so if you can imagine extrapolating from that, all of the different types of video, images, text that can be created attributed to somebody that is just false. Um, it really could plague our communication channels. Next, it says, should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Now, this is another important point. OpenAI just released a research paper, I believe last week, uh, detailing their research into how many jobs and what types of jobs are going to be affected by artificial intelligence. It turns out most knowledge worker jobs are going to be affected in some way. Basically, if you sit in front of a computer, your job is potentially at risk in the immediate future. I'll link that research paper below. Should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete, and replace us? This sounds like something straight out of the matrix. Now here's the key line. Powerful AI systems should be developed only once we are confident that their effects will be positive and their risks will be manageable. And they're calling for independent review, and they talk about that a little bit more in subsequent paragraphs. Now here it is. Therefore, we call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. This pause should be public and verifiable and include all key actors. If such a pause cannot be enacted quickly, governments should step in and institute a moratorium. Governments historically have been incredibly slow to react to technological change. I don't see any reason that this would be different. So relying on the government to step in, 
I don't really see as a viable solution. They call for AI labs and independent experts to jointly develop and implement a set of shared safety protocols. So they want all the different players to get together and put in place guardrails, safety precautions, reporting, everything necessary to make sure that AI does not get out of our hands. They also call for AI developers to work with policymakers. Now, the important thing to note is they're not saying don't develop AI. They're just saying, let's put a pause on it for six months. Let's understand the implications of what it means to develop past GPT-4. And then let's put regulatory frameworks in place to make sure that we have the proper controls. Now let's take a look at some of the names on this list. The first name on the list, one of the biggest names in AI, Yashua Bengio, who is a Turing Prize winner and professor at University of Montreal. Stuart Russell, again, these are top minds in AI research. Elon Musk, of course, we know who he is. Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple. We have Andrew Yang, a political leader. We have the founder of Ripple, the founder of Pinterest. We have the founder of Stability AI, known for Stable Diffusion. Max Tegmark from MIT, and many, many other names. I'll link this open letter down below in the description so you can take a look at the names yourself. But again, names that are not on here are from OpenAI, especially Sam Altman. Nobody in the field of AI is actually denying the threat that AI poses if it becomes super intelligent and uncontrollable. Even Sam Altman from OpenAI on his recent interview with Lex Friedman has talked about the immediate dangers, which are misinformation and disinformation campaigns, which I'll show a clip of that right now. I think it's weird when people like think it's like a big dunk that I say like I'm a little bit afraid and I think it'd be crazy not to be be a little bit afraid. Current worries that I have are that there are going to be disinformation problems or economic shocks or something else at a level far beyond anything we're prepared for. And he also wrote a blog post years ago. This was written eight years ago, February 25th, 2015, right around the same time that Sam Altman started OpenAI. And he talks about fearing machine intelligence. He wrote an entire blog post about this. I'll link this as well in the description below. So here's the research paper OpenAI just released about the threats to the job market in the immediate future. And they're not shying away from saying, yeah, this is actually a thing. People should be worried about their jobs. Here's a couple lines that I found that I wanna point out. Our findings indicate that approximately 80% of the US workforce could have at least 10% of their work tasks affected by the introduction of GPTs, while around 19% of workers may see at least 50% of their tasks impacted. This could have dramatic effects on the job market. It's really compelling to read through this uh, research paper. I'm thinking about putting together a video just on this research paper because I find it so fascinating. But the gist is, again, if you're sitting in front of a computer, if you have knowledge work, if you don't work with your hands, something actually tangible with your hands, your job's at risk. That's what I've done my entire career. So yeah, my job would be at risk. Now I'll note again, nobody from OpenAI has signed this. And I'm wondering if Sam Altman and the rest of the founders from OpenAI are going to sign it. There's a lot of pressure and a lot of momentum behind this open letter, so we'll see. The other thing to note is how this affects OpenAI if it actually does come to fruition. OpenAI is the clear leader in the AI arms race. They have GPT-4. It is far and away better than any other AI model that I've seen. If the entire AI world puts an immediate pause on AI development past GPT-4, which We'll talk about it in a minute if that's even feasible. A open AI is going to be affected the most. Essentially, all the other AI research labs and companies will continue to develop until they get to GPT-4, and OpenAI, since they're already at GPT-4, will have to essentially pause all future development for six months. This, from an economic point of view, from a capitalism point of view, is really detrimental to OpenAI. And I would imagine they're not very incentivized to actually sign this document. Now, again, thinking of incentives and just trying to think about what OpenAI might be thinking is, hey, all of my competition just signed this letter telling me to stop developing AI. I think I'm developing it safely, but if I stop, everybody else gets to catch up. So I understand it from that point of view, but to be clear, I actually think this would be a good thing to pause and really take a look at what's happening in the AI research world and say, and put in place guardrails and precautions that are necessary to actually save humanity. So I'm for it, but I'm just trying to steel man the other side of the argument. So last, is a pause like this even possible? You're effectively saying, 
all of these independent companies throughout the entire world need to coordinate and pause development immediately. While at the same time, the companies that are already in the lead have to really allow the other companies to catch up. I don't know how they're actually going to implement this. It would take an enormous coordinated effort to actually verifiably pause AI research past GPT-4. I'm not sure if that's possible. And the fallback, according to this open letter, is to use governments to put a moratorium on AI research for six months. Again, governments don't move too quickly. So is that actually gonna happen? I don't know. I don't think so. So that's it. This is a pretty crazy and interesting open letter. I do hope OpenAI gets on board. I do hope the parameters of this letter do get implemented and we take a second to breathe, to pause, to understand what this AI race really means and what it's gonna lead to. Let me know what you think. I wanna know in the comments below, do you think we should have a pause for six months? Do you think this is fair to open AI? What do you think are the incentives for the other companies to sign this letter? Will Sam Altman sign this letter? 